Some of uh, you might uh, know that I'm a real estate photographer and uh, I was asked in the past, how, how do I edit my photos? So I thought uh, I'll give a couple tips in uh, Lightroom. That's what I, I really prefer using. I use a little bit of Photoshop too, but majority of the time I uh, work in Lightroom. So uh, how about if we just get right to it? Okay, so I'm gonna go into Lightroom and uh, show you. See, I've already uh, picked uh, about four photos here. It's just a kitchen I did uh, back in September. So it's just a little while ago, but uh, I wanted just to show you, I already got a, like, uh, made my own preset. So interior, as you can see, I just bring the highlights down a little bit, bring the shadows up a little bit, clear it up just a little bit, vibrance a little, you know, it, it, of course these are all your, your own preferences, but uh, this is something I, I like to do. And if I go to uh, push K, you can see here, first of all, I'll show you a mask, first of all, instead of pushing K. So K is a brush. So I'm going to push that and I put the exposure up just 0.75. You don't want it uh, full exposure. You could if you want, but as you can see, if I do this, sometimes if it seems to highlight the that, like we're in red, but it does brighten up. I just see here. And I wish I missed that button of done, but uh, if I can just show what was before and after, there's a before and after, as you can see, it's a little bit brighter. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just up the exposure just a little bit to, to somewhere I'm more comfortable with, uh, somewhere around there. Uh, I'm, I'm usually maybe around the point 30, but sometimes I go, 40. Uh, there again, I, I think it's more of our own preference how you feel. It depends on the room, but just brightening it up a little bit. Uh, I thought something like that should uh, make the room look a little bit better. And if you just want to double check, that's not bad actually. Uh, what I usually do is that I'll try to pick somewhere in the middle of the room and to, to white balance it. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I like the natural look as much as possible. Here, I'm gonna just do one more. Something like that. And I, I, I like to also see, am I lined up? That's not bad, but uh, I'm going to uh, push K again. And I like to keep it with the inner circle, of course, like I said. Uh, it, it feathers it more uh, out to the, that outer circle, so it's not, not gonna go over too much. And if you need to, you can always make it smaller, whatever you need to do. Um, plus, what I also like doing, this is something else that I've noticed that uh, some people don't actually seem to do. And as you can see there, the lines are almost perfect. They don't have to be exact, but uh, from the top and bottom, I, I'm looking at the top right now and that's pretty close and the, the bottom is really close too. So then I would do is just crop it a little and that's it. Um, and I can raise the exp exposure a little bit. And let's just, try to see here some might be around there so that's a little bit too much but I don't know let's see take the blue out I don't want to take blue out too much because there's natural blue there just a little bit knock it off a little bit but uh, that's I think that uh, that should give you guys an idea of what needs to be done hopefully that helps you out a bit and uh, Follow me and subscribe uh, for more of this kind of stuff. I'm going to try to do a little more tutorials and uh, other things I'm trying to get into too. But uh, stay with me on this journey and uh, hopefully we can all have a little bit of fun. Hey, uh, I th hey I've been asked before uh, about doing... Hi, uh, I've 